everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'll be showing you how you can paint this sunset mountain scape. All the materials and the reference photo will be linked below. So what we're going to need for today's tutorial is one or two jars of water, a palette, gouache of your choice, I'm using Holbein Designers gouache, and a selection of brushes including a flat brush and round brushes. The colours we'll be using today are Ultramarine Deep, Turquoise Blue, Magenta, Brilliant Orange, Permanent Yellow Deep, Prussian Blue and then Permanent White and Ivory Black. So we're going to start with our sky and then work our way down. I'm going to put into the palette Ultramarine Deep, Turquoise Blue, Magenta, Permanent Yellow Deep and I've also added a bit of Violet. So we'll lightly wet our brush and start mixing the colours for our sky, starting with Ultramarine Deep and Turquoise Blue. We're going to add a little bit of white as well because it's just a little bit dark. Next we're going to mix a purpley colour by using a mix of Violet, Ultramarine Deep, White, Magenta and Yellow. I try to use clear or light colour tape so that I can just do a little swatch and see if I want to lighten or darken the colour I've mixed. We'll now take yellow, violet, magenta and white to make that really pretty colour in the middle of the sky. Now we'll take our flat brush and start to paint in the sky, starting with the blue that we mixed earlier. When I added the purple on, I felt it was all a bit too dark, so I added a drop of white and mixed that into both colours. You'll want to just do light sweeping motions with your brush, keeping the strokes free and light, but working as quickly as we can because we don't want our paint to dry before we've added in all the colours. We'll now mix in a bit of white with our yellow colour and we'll add that in, plus a bit of magenta to make that pinky shade on the left and you can just go back and forth between each colour until you have your desired sky. We'll now add orange to our palette and mix that in with yellow and white. We still want the colour to be quite bright. And then we're going to add that colour right in the middle of our sky and then we can just go back and forth between all of the colours we've mixed, adding them in wherever we feel they need to go. Now whilst we let that dry, we'll make a start on our mountains. I've added a bit of Prussian blue to the palette and we're going to mix that in with ultramarine deep and a bit of turquoise blue. We'll be working from right to left, starting with the biggest mountain and don't worry if the shade is a bit off because this will just be our first layer. We're going to take a bit more white and Prussian blue and add that to the blue that we just mixed and then this is going to be for the next mountain along. So 
So we'll just keep mixing shades of blue using what we've already mixed, filling in the smaller mountains remaining on the left. going to take white and start to fill in those streaky clouds keeping a minimal amount of paint on the brush so that everything stays in control using those same sweeping motions that we used when we first started the sky. Don't worry if the white seems to fade because we'll just go back and brighten the clouds later. Now we're going to switch to a round brush and mix a darker colour for our foliage right at the front, mixing Prussian Blue, Ultramarine Deep and Black. If your mix is a little bit watery like mine, it's no problem because we're going to do a second and possibly third layer. You'll then want to do a little dabbing motion along the top of the foliage and this just helps it to look more bushy. We'll then mix Prussian Blue with Turquoise and a bit of black. We want this colour to be darker than the blues we've previously mixed and we'll be using this as the second layer over our smallest mountain. Then adding Ultramarine Deep to that colour, we're going to fill in the other small mountain furthest on the left and doing that same dabbing motion will add some texture to the top of the mountain. We'll continue to mix darker shades of blue and add textures to the tops of all the mountains until they've all had their second layer.
We'll mix a bit of white in with the blues left over and use this to fill in that section in the middle and the bottom of both sides of the foliage. Taking white again, we're going to brighten our clouds using a smaller brush for precision. Taking a flat brush again and the same white that we just used, we're going to fill in that bright water line before we start on the actual water. We'll then use our dark blue mix made of Prussian blue, ultramarine deep and black and we're going to fill in the reflection of the foliage. Those same light sweeping motions we use for the sky help to give a more watery illusion. Taking a lighter blue on our palette, we'll fill in the mountain's reflections in the middle section, leaving space at the bottom of the page for the sky's reflection. Don't worry if the colours seem a bit faded once dried because we're going to go over them. We want to add more black into our dark blue mix and then give a second layer to our foliage reflection. We want to now mix the blue that reflects the colours of the mountains we painted using the same blues from our first layer and we're going to block that in. Making sure that the blue paint is dry, we're going to use the same colours we used for the sky and fill in the sky's reflection. That's one amazing thing about gouache, it's reactivated with water so you can truly just reuse what's on your palette. I used that pinkier shade on the left, a yellowy orange in the middle and a paler yellow on the right, but as long as you reflect the sky that you've painted, it will be perfect. Just adding a bit of shadowing on the waterline with a watered down purpley blue colour. I felt that my mountains could do with one more layer so I went ahead and mixed similar shades, just slightly darker than the original shades we mixed and then blocked those in. But if you're happy with the colours of your mountains then feel free to skip this step. Another layer on the foliage too, I used a colour very close to black for this layer.
Using the same shade, I added a second layer to the foliage reflection. We'll now mix another blue shade to layer the rest of the mountain's reflections and we'll also make light strokes on the yellowy orange sections, just representing little ripples. Mixing a warmer blue, we'll add on our second layer for the mountain reflection in the water on the left, filling in any gaps also, and then like before, just making light strokes on our pinky section to make more ripples. We'll now take a smaller brush and load it up with the blues we've already mixed and very carefully add in thinner strokes for smaller ripples. Taking our darkest blue mix again, we'll just make sure to define our foliage a little bit more using that same dabbing motion and just filling in any extra details also. I added one more layer on my water as I felt that it was still a bit too thin so I just mixed a bit more black into the darkest blue we mixed and using the flat brush went over the foliage reflections as well as the mountain reflections in the middle but if you feel that your water is fine, it's nice and thick then you can skip this step. Just using a round brush and a thin wash of paint to go and fill in any gaps and define areas around the foliage. I added a bit more white to the palette and mixed a pale yellow colour using a small brush to add a bit more defined ripples to the sky's reflection. So now I'm just going to go back and forth between pale yellow and blue until I'm happy with the result, feel free to do the same. Thank you. 
We're coming to the end of our painting now, so we'll just be adding in highlights using white paint and defining any areas of the water that need defining. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more videos, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video.